Hey guys, what's up? It's Bass Hackers, and uh, we bring you guys a little arsenal for 2013. Uh, I just did my ride little arsenal, and uh, I can't wait to, to finish, man. We're going to Dolan Lake, and uh, spring break. I can't wait, to be honest. So, uh, I went to Bass Pro yesterday, and uh, I'm going to start off with these live targets. I've been wanting these lures for about two years now, and uh, these things are just realistic. This is the uh, bullfrog. It's got the shiny thing on the side. I mean, if you take a look at that, that is like really lifelike realistic. Like, I mean, it's just so pathetic. I mean, it just blows blows me away how much they can make it look just like a frog. And then these are the boss shads, four inch chartreuse shad. Uh, these things are bad to the bone, is what I've heard. I was talking to some dude at Bass Pro, and he said, uh, so these, he just bombs the fire out of the big old bass and the musky on these, so, uh, find out how bad they are. Uh, these are my two crankbaits. These are the KVD RC 2.5s. Uh, I love these things to death, man. My buddy had this bait. So they're both square bills. Obviously, these are, this clear part's called the bill. And uh, it's a square shape, so it, like if it goes like oh, it's like say my my hand's a tree. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, the bait would go and it'd get stuck in there, and you lose your bait. Well, this it swims more like this, and so it like deflects off of it, and it has like a lesser chance of, of snagging onto a tree or something. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, gizzard shad pattern. This is a crawdad pattern. This one has red eyes. This one doesn't. But uh, these are bad to the bone baits, man. I. Love these things. And then this is my uh, my jig. This is my favorite jig. My buddy Austin Garibald gave this to me. Black and blue flake. Uh, it's got a pack of chunk on it. Net bait. Uh, I love these net bait pack of crawls and bag of chunks. I went on a fishing trip with my uncle, and he that's all we were using. He wouldn't let me use anything else but a jig. And I'm telling you what, we demolished the bass. I mean, just obliterated them with these jigs and the pack of craws. I mean like I mean we jig them and there'd be a craw missing and we didn't even know that we had a bass on there because I mean it was in dead of the summer high heat and uh, they just weren't bombing it they were just kind of nipping at it and then we just kind of pulled it off and it popped the craw off and it's fried but uh, yeah that's my little jig that I got I'll put another one of these on there I got tons of these. Literally, I mean, tons of these. And, uh, so yeah. Alright, so that's my jig. I'll clean that up later. This is my, uh, Booyah spinnerbait. It's got, uh, gold and silver, or gold and nickel plated blades. And then it's got a shad profiled head up here. Not down here, up here. Uh, must add ultra point premium round bid premium round bid round bend hook 55 strand bioflex silicone skirt red eyes sets the bass off and uh ball bearing swivel which is this thing right here that little metal thing i don't see how it's ball bearing but hey whatever uh, these are my ribbit frogs i had a three pounder blow one of these up at the cemetery uh, baby bass pattern. These things will literally make the bass just, I mean, go on a food frenzy. Uh, they just obliterate them. Because, I mean, all of a sudden you throw it out there and you're, you're, you're like, expecting to be like, and all of a sudden you're like, dum, 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 And, uh, it took me about two tries to figure out how to, how to fish this. My first try, I threw it out there, and I was just... And I had a bass blow up, and he missed it, because I was reeling it up too fast. And I was like... And missed it again, and I was like... Dum, 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 And it was just... Literally came out of the water. I mean, just... Oh, it was awesome, man. It was... It was kind of like... Yes, you know? Because I've never seen a bass come out of the water for a bait. That was a sightseeing moment. And then this is my other live target that I got. This is a field mouse. This thing, whew, this is awesome, man. Uh, this field mouse, can't wait to use it. Uh, I went to Bass Pro yesterday, like I said, and got this and the frog. And uh, I mean, they're just like really lifelike. I just can't explain to you how awesome they are. 
And these are my six in, or three inch Sickfish Junior Berkeley Havoc bait Skeet Reese design. Uh, can't wait to use these. These things, I can already see a bass choking on this. I mean, just literally choking on it because he just tried to eat it and swallow it. And uh, whew, I can see me catching about a six pounder on this. To be really honest, I mean, I'm not exaggerating. Like I can really see myself catching a a, a six pounder on this disco shad pattern uh, with white flake. And uh, so yeah. And then I got this little sneakers dip bait. This stuff is deadly. I mean, literally, if you just breathe this in, like, it would kill you. Uh, I mean, this stuff, I mean, I would smell it, but I know that I'll probably, like, dry heat and be like, Ugh! So, not going to do that. Uh, I got this umbrella rig. This is a, a two-pronged umbrella rig. And then these are the uh, little jig heads I'm going to use with it. Uh, these little jig heads are the bomb. Tell you what, it's got a little shad swim bait on the back with a paddle tail. Oh, dang it, missed. Paddle tail, and, uh, and this is the uh, two pronged, uh, uh, what's it called? Alabama rig that it's supposed to go on. And it's supposed to bend out like that. And you're supposed to pull it along, and it looks like a ball of shad, and the bass just comes up and. And then if, this, if the bass, if the one that he tries to bite, he's just barely hooked. Nine times out of ten, this one will hook into his side and foul hook him. So you'll have the bass either way. Even if you, I mean, there's a slim chance that he'll come off. I mean, just a literally slim chance he'll come off. But, uh, so yeah, that's all the baits I got up here on my table. And then these are my worms and craws. Uh, got all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, I mean, these, I really, I can't wait to use some of these. I got ripple shads, jelly worms. Trick worms, power baits, power bait, jigs, all kinds of jigs in there. I'm good on jigs. Like I said, I got all kinds of them. Uh, these are lake forks, uh, ring fries. Them things are pretty bad to the bone. Uh, yeah, I got some lizards in there, some paddle tails. This is my lizards. I got these at Bass Pro the other day, too. These are uh, eight inch or six inch lizard ju lizard June bug chartreuse. Them are some pretty bad baits. Uh, they will. I can already see me catching a bunch of bass off of them, because they said that the chartreuse in that sets the bass off and just literally blows it up. And then these are my uh, swim baits. I got this is my swim bait I got a couple years ago. Never really fished it. Uh, as you can see, I cut the hook off, put a treble hook in there, and I'll show. It's I got this pattern or this hook set up from Butch Brown. I'll put a link in, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. And uh his baits are fifteen dollars for a, literally a bait just like this. And I got a four pack or I think it was came in a three pack for ten bucks. And he wants fifteen bucks for a single swim bait, which I think is a little out, like a little outrageous. But uh yeah. And then this is just my random hooks. Uh, I got some bluegills, jig heads, jig heads, bass, jig, bluegill, trebles, bluegill, bluegill, all kinds of stuff in there. Uh, that's my uh, good old Revo box. Uh, got all kinds of stuff in here. I got miscellaneous rods and reels over there with some baseball bats in there. I don't know why I got them in there. Then I got my Jimmy Houston signed hat. And uh, so, yeah. Got my turkey call, all kinds of stuff in here. And uh, so, yeah, check out my. Uh... Oh, man. Yeah, check out my Mr. Tackle Box video. Uh, I got my Rod and Relational video coming up. And uh, so, yeah. So, uh, peace. Keep on. Oh, you can't even see me. Now I can see me. Sorry about that. So, uh, got a lot of stuff in here. Take me hours to go through all this stuff. That's why it's, like, really messy in here. I hate cleaning my fishing room, but, yeah. Probably gonna do it tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not looking too forward to it, but, hey, gotta do it. So, uh, this has been Bass Tires 21, signing out, and, uh, go out and catch one for me. Stay fishing.